Hoggy, a battling point coming from 2-0 down. You must be really proud of your players tonight. Yeah, yeah listen, it, it, we had harsh words at half-time about the start in terms of it's not being like us, in terms of not being able to match our intensity and being a yard or two off and losing too many duels. And again, the lads had a real, we had a real honest discussion about that at half-time. And, but I have to say the character, the spirit again. Uh, I said the pre-match, just wanted the lads to go on and, and try and give people uh, something to cheer for and get behind again. And listen, 2-0 down and coming back 2-2, I thought they did that. But the overriding feeling is one of slight disappointment that with the chances that we managed to create, we haven't come away with, with a little bit more. Because even at 2-0 down, a lot of shots, a lot of clear-cut chances in that first half. Yeah, no, Dan, I've just seen there before the, I mean, for, for us really, we had 28 shots in the game. I think 18 of them in the first half. Uh, without going too stat heavy, we're 2.44 XG over the game, which is the expected goals for us. And if you look at it, it's uh, one of the highest we've had this season, if not the highest. So we knew first half, even when we were 2 down, the spaces were there, the, the, the opportunities were there for, for us to try and hurt them. And so it was just about staying calm at half time. And, readjusting a few things out of possession so to make sure we're a little bit more compact especially in transitional moments after we've been attacking where Stoke were having a bit too much space to get out um, so we spoke about that around moving higher up together as a team with a bit more intensity and obviously got into them a little bit about duels and different things but the lads were great at half time and it was around then obviously once we got one back I always felt we could get another one and then obviously try and get another one but unfortunately that didn't happen. Talking about staying calm, there's no one better in those situations is there than Naki Wells. Oh, honestly, delight for him over the moon. His career, everything he's done, he's in key moments. He's 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 in the right spot. Uh, I see it every day in training. He, he's he's a natural goal scorer, which he's seen throughout his career. But yeah, he was one again. We had to try and create the opportunities again for for people like Naki. And um, luckily enough, he was managed to to get us back in the game. And I think you've seen the energy and the spirit then come back into the boys and. Everything we said at half-time come to fruition in the second half and it was around obviously being more stable emotionally and, and, and fighting and competing a bit better. So, yeah, he was a leading light in that getting his back in, but again, supported by everybody again, boys coming off the bench and uh, the support as well was terrific again. And yeah, talking about making an impact from the bench, George Earth, he came on at half-time. He made an impact because he's, he's had limited minutes because of an injury. Yeah, he has. It has been, it's been a difficult start for him in terms of the injury and um, getting back up to speed in training and training and uh, trying to give him some minutes obviously at the weekend as well to try and get him up to speed a little bit. So, um, yeah, I thought he had good impact with his energy and it's unfortunate for Anis really because on the back of the weekend where he had a good performance and a goal, it just, I've said to him there, it was just a decision I had to make at half-time around just tweaking it, trying to get a bit of energy and, and doing some slightly different things second half out of possession. So, um, yeah, unfortunate for him, but I'm delighted for George to get 45 and uh, get some more minutes into him. And just lastly, I'm beaten in six in the championship. That's no mean feat. No, it's not. It's tough. It's a hard league. And again, you see at the start, if you're not quite at it or you're a yard or two off and you don't quite compete as to your maximum, then you get punished. So, yeah, the, the, listen, I've said at the weekend, I love working with this group. And um, today was all about, again, trying to go again after the weekend's feats. And um, I thought the spirit, the character again was, was outstanding. And I said before the game, I just wanted the boys to try and put a performance on for for the club, for, for Liam and his family again, and but get something for the supporters to, to get behind and for sure again, I thought it was second half again was a bit more like us and it, it fighting, scrapping, anything to, to try and get a point out of the game.